Good morning and happy Friday, BBHS. We hope you had a great week. Thanks for always tuning in. We'll catch you up on things that have been happening. Here's your episode 160 of PPN. To kick off your BBHS news, we're asking for your photos. Are you in a club or activity? The yearbook needs your pictures as soon as possible. Please email them to Allen at PeytonAllen.Allen at BBSC.us. We featured in this year's annual. Seniors, unless you're living under a rock, you know it's a year for voting. Don't forget to register when you turn 18. You can do so through the Crawford County's Clerk's Office in downtown Van Buren or the DMV. There is an online request Ooh. and you can even print out a form from www.sos.arkansas.gov. Be the change you wish to see. More for you seniors. Cody Bell, along with Harry O'Ham, and other scholarship applications are now available in Mrs. Nelson's office. Juniors, the VBHS free ACT has now been moved to March 26th, so study up and good luck. Now on to sports. If we say your friend's name, they owe you something from the Pointer Place Cafe. Kennedy. Jack. Alex Lopez. Jessica. Lacey Loftus. Kennedy Holland. Chloe. Trump. Jasmine. To start off the week Tuesday, the basketball teams played Salem Springs at home with both teams winning. And then Friday, they traveled down to Russellville, and the boys ended up taking a W. Also, on the note of basketball, congrats to Drew Brazel for placing 8th all-time in the scoring leader. Congratulations. Also, congrats to Glavin McDonald for now being the all-time 3-point scoring leader. Congratulations. Also, congrats to Jackson Cazell for passing the 1,000 point mark and also being fourth all-time scoring. Quark, quark. Congratulations. That's it for last week's sports. Now to this week's sports. Monday, the Van Buren track team hosted the Pointer Running Festival and the softball team took a dub at Southside. Tuesday, the baseball team hosted Paris, the soccer team hosted Northside, and the softball team traveled to Prairie Grove. And the Lady Pointer basketball team competed in the first round of the state tournament in Searcy against Lake Hamilton. Thursday, softball hosts Gravit, and the Pointer basketball team goes to Searcy for the first round of the state tournament against Pine Bluff. Friday, the baseball team plays Springdale, softball team plays Northside, and the soccer team plays Salisaw. Shoot it, Camp. <laughs> where they at? Here's next week's sports. Monday, boys soccer has a game in Bentonville, and girls soccer has a game at Prairie Grove. And the baseball team has a home game versus Southside. On Tuesday, the soccer teams both travel to Southside, and the softball team has a home outing against Pea Ridge. Thursday, the softball team has a home game against Hackett, and the baseball team also has a home game, but against Farmington. Ooh. On Friday, the James Limley Quad City Meet is being held in Van Buren. The soccer teams both have a game against Greenbrier, the baseball team has a game against Gravit, and the softball team has a game against Bentonville West, all of those being at home. Welcome to Weather with Avery. That's me. Today, we have a high of 64 and a low of 38, and it's going to be sunny over the weekend. We're going to have a high of 77 and a low of 46, and it's going to be beautiful outside. So go go take yourself outside this weekend. Go for a little hike. Go for a little walk. Next week, the high is going to be 69, and the low is going to be 38, and it's going to be a little chillier. But it's still going to be nice, so still go take yourself outside. Get some of that vitamin D. Thanks for watching, weather. The hottest new investment, farmland. The amount of farmland bought by investment firms has jumped 231% from 2008, according to the National Council of Real Estate Investment Fiduciaries. Why the jump? 
The world will need to produce 60% more food by 2050, according to the UN estimates. Other reasons to note, as the average age of farmers goes up, experts worry it'll be harder for the industry to attract young people to the field, literally, especially now that they're coming with deep-pocketed investors. The good news is that U.S. politicians aren't stoked about investors. Members of Congress and at least 36 state lawmakers have introduced bills over the last year that would limit or ban non-U.S. citizens or people from certain countries, mostly Iran, Russia, China, and Korea, from buying farmland. The FBI helped take down the world's most infamous cyber criminal group. An international operation led by the FBI and the U.K.'s National Crime Agency dealt a major blow to the ransomware gang Lockbit. Logbit has caused billions of dollars in damages by forcing its targets, many of them and major companies, to pay ransoms to decrypt malicious software. We have hacked the hackers, NCA Director General Graham Bigger told reporters. Bridget Mendler, who played Teddy on Good Luck Charlie, is now CEO of Northwood Space. Her resume? Disney darling, certified platinum singer, law degree at Harvard Space Law Society, pursuing interdisciplinary PhD from MIT, worked with the Federal Communications Commissions that dealt with satellites. And now she's co-founded Northwood Space with her engineer husband, Griffin Cleverly, and friend Shara Luthra. How did it begin? In the pandemic era of boredom, of course. They said they built antennas out of random crap to connect the government weather satellites. Speaking of satellites, the U.S. told allies that Russia plans to put a nuclear weapon into space that can knock out satellites as early as this year, Bloomberg reported. Yikes. And speaking of the U.S. and Russia, the U.S. opposed its most extensive package of sanctions on Russia since the war in Ukraine started. Russian government officials tied to Alaska and Navalny's death. But to end the Russian talk with some humor, Biden called Vladimir Putin a crazy SOB during the California fundraiser. The Kremlin called Biden a cowboy, men being men. Nearly 153,000 people got an email from the White House last week notifying them that they were no longer owing the Department of Education any money because of President Biden's new save repayment plan. The Biden administration said it's canceled a total of $138 billion in federal student loans, which the president is looking to emphasize on the campaign trail. A quick update for all things politics. Donald Trump defeats Nikki Haley in her home state. Trump romped in another presidential primary, securing 60% of the South Carolina votes compared to just 40% for Haley, the former South Carolina governor. Vladimir Zelensky reveals death toll in war with Russia and a rare acknowledgement of losses. Ukraine's president announced that 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers had died in the war, as the world marked two years since Russia launched its unprovoked invasion. And there's been progress reported in Israel about the Hamas ceasefire deal. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan suggested on CNN that a temporary ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas could be reached in the coming days. One that involves the freeing of hostages held by Hamas and Palestinian prisoners held in Israel. In space, Odysseus, the first private spacecraft to land on the moon, has toppled over but remains functional becoming the first new American lander there in more than 50 years. In pop culture, Beyonce became the first black woman to hold the number one spot on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart with her single, Texas Hold'em. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to DM our Instagram at VBHS Point Pack News so we can feature you in our student submission section of the episode. Till then, wear your seatbelts, drink some water, and tell somebody you love them. Have a great weekend. Jones. Caleb Sellers. 
Brennell or Andrew. So what's some advice you would give to upcoming freshmen? Oh, there's a lot. Um, make friends with the lunch ladies. To actually try in class and to not just do the like bare minimum. Stay away from Jackson Myers. Uh, probably just uh, study harder and then mature because it's way different uh, in high school than to freshmen. Definitely stay away from Jackson Myers. Just be yourself, man. Like, don't be around these goofies. Just stay true to yourself. So I'm here with Jackson Myers. What's some advice you'd give to upcoming freshmen? Upcoming freshmen, stay away from me.